Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Simona and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go over layering combos. We do head-to-head -head wear tests, all things fragrance on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're going to cover next. So if it is your first time on the channel, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time and we have been going over gourmands and vanilla type fragrances so anything vanilla anything gourmand edible smelling um you know or tasting <laughs> uh, that has crossed our path we have been experimenting with it we've been doing reviews head-to-head -head wear tests we've been talking about what layerability layering combos affordable options all of that so in today's video i want to summarize all of that for you guys the past couple of weeks of reviews Thank you so much to a couple of subscribers who went ahead and suggested also that we do these top type videos. I'm not a huge, you know, top ranking type channel. On this channel, you're going to see reviews, wear tests, real life experiences, um, you know, and my own personal fragrance journey. Um, you know, I... I'm, I'm, I'm in this, I'm a consumer as well, you know, so I'm in this together with you all. And I just thank you so much for everyone who has joined this journey so far. I'm having such a blast getting to know you guys, your preferences. Um, you know, everyone has their own opinions about scents, how they work for them. And I just love the community that we're building. Thank you so much for coming along this ride with me. And so for today, let's go ahead and talk about my top five fragrances in the gourmand vanilla category <laughs> so exciting this is such an exciting topic because vanilla is one of my absolute favorite favorite scents and getting to explore them these past couple of weeks has been very very um, what is the word? Just to enlightening. I have opened my eyes to the fact that there are so many different types of vanillas. Um, so I just want to talk to you guys about my personal top five fragrances, but I do have an honorable mention. <laughs> so another thing i love absolutely love sharing fragrances with you guys. Not only my thoughts and my opinions, uh, you know, but my actual fragrances. So I want you guys to enter a giveaway let's go ahead and comment down below what is your top favorite vanilla on your perfume journey so far and which one would you like to try because I would love to share it with you <laughs> anything that we've uh, reviewed in the past couple of weeks um, you know just let me know and I'll try to help you get your nose on it okay so for today's video and tomorrow's video um, go ahead and comment, uh, you know, that, what I just mentioned. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get right into this because I do want to not spend an eternity. I'm hoping that I can summarize this as best as I can because this is it's supposed to be a summary, not an hour-long video, okay? All right, so for the very first fragrance, I do want to throw out here an honorable mention. So this is not in my top five fragrances per se, because for vanillas because well it's not a vanilla however tonka bean tea cakes by the house of glory it is a decadent delicate cozy fragrance this has in it fluffy little cakes flecked with lightly sweet tonka bean and coated with a delectable sugar glaze delicate but to me it's delectable <laughs> delicate sugar glaze oh these are these are just it starts out my mouth is watering it's it's just so caramelized the smell and um it's got a hint of cherry even and then it settles into this very warm, cozy, cozy feel of a fragrance. And it is so enjoyable. I truly fell in love with this. I did not fall in love my very first uh, go with it. I had to keep testing it like, hmm, where's the fragrance? Where's the, the beautiful aroma, you know, that, that I think is there? And it is there. So I went ahead and I have their perfume oil, their Eau de Parfum, and their hair oil. 
um, I could not get a hold of their pumpkin butter because this is this is a seasonal item. It is not part of House of Glory's general catalog. So I do have a full dedicated review to everything I'm going to mention today. Um, so in the interest of time, I won't go completely, you know, into the review on how it performs and all that goodness. But I will be mentioning affordable options for you guys uh, of the pricier fragrances. So that's my honorable mention right there. I cannot even, I use it after the shower pretty much every night. It layers wonderfully under all of the fragrances we're going to talk about and um, even other fragrances. It is light enough, um, you know, to not get in the way of other fragrances, which I think is a beautiful quality to have it for layering. Okay, so that's House of Glory's Tonka Bean Tea Cakes. Now, coming in at number five on my top five vanilla and gourmands, Sweet Vanilla by Montau. So Montau Sweet Vanilla, I first tried it like this. It is a little sample size here and immediately had to upgrade. However, I couldn't find a bottle for less than $98.99. And so at that time, I was not thinking of expanding the vanilla collection. Um, so this definitely is sufficing. I have here sweet vanilla. It has vanilla and apricot, and that is it. And it, it gives it an air, a very beautiful air to Van Vanier West Indies. However, it has apricot, whereas this one has some caramel and orchid but uh, the dry down is so good. <laughs> so Montau's Sweet Vanilla is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Montau has two other vanillas that um, I don't, I did wear test vanilla cake. This is a different type of vanilla and I preferred the sweet vanilla over the vanilla cake. Um, so if you wanna check out those reviews, also, they have a Vanilla Absolute that I wouldn't mind trying, but uh, from what I can see, it has a little smokiness to it, a little incense vibe, maybe more like the, um, more like this, like Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues and Kayali's Van Vanilla 28, uh, you know, in that type of vanilla. Oh, so many types of vanillas we explored, but these are my top, you know, personally. So that's Montel Sweet Vanilla. Um, I believe there is a just slightly diff better affordable option, I'm saying. Um, Comptour's Sud Pacific Vanille Apricot. It's got a B instead of a P. It comes in at $70.19 on Fragrance Net as well. Um, so it's it's a good what 30 something dollars less expensive but i have not got my nose on it so i cannot um agree or disagree as far as the the how it compares <laughs> i haven't done a wear test i haven't got my nose on it you can get a hold of a sample for two dollars or so it's on clearance right now on fragrance net so i'd be interested to try it they say there's like a little bit of a synthetic feel to the fragrance and to all of the fragrances in that house. So, um, I mean, I'm not sure. I cannot confirm or deny that. Okay, so next, number four on the list, we have Accident à la Vanille. So this was a delicious, beautiful, cookie-like dry down. Uh, like a coconut macaroon. This was beautiful. In here we have some van vanilla, then we have vanilla and sandalwood, and in the base we have vanilla and styrax. So um, this is comes out at you very heavy caramel, um, very buttered popcorn-like, very I'm not going to be able to hang with this, and then all of a sudden it starts to dry down and get a little airier and just delectable beautiful cookie like vibe and it reminded me a lot of shabazz a late de biscuit so i grouped it kind of in that category but uh the performance and the decadent feel of this fragrance totally outweighed you know even at the lesser price point that shabazz late de biscuits at i still preferred the drusette accident a la vanille and this is definitely on my wish list <laughs> for sure. Um, so this one, I could not find anything currently that would 
um, be a dupe of it. Like I said, the Shabbat Lady Biscuit is a little in the same realm, but you don't get everything that this gives you. Now, Dua has a, a dupe for this called Accidental Vanille. <laughs> And, um, you know, it's supposed to be pretty similar. It comes in at $60 for a 30 ml bottle. So I just, at the moment, don't feel like that's a great price point for, you know, for a dupe. Um, however, it's definitely better than the $165 for 50 mls that you get of the Jusette Accident a la Vanier. I mean, it's a way better price point than that. <laughs> Um, so I might, I might, I'm waiting for some Black Friday sales. A few of you guys here in the comments have let me know that you have several gourmand fragrances by the House of Dua and that they're good, you know? So I'm definitely interested on their next sale, uh, jumping in on a few of those gourmands that you guys say are delicious. I've been paying attention. <laughs> um, all right. So that's Occident à la Vanille coming in at number four. Number three, we have In Dults Tahoda. Now this is a fragrance that I have just been after trying. Finally got my nose on the original with a little 1ml sample and then got a bigger 5ml decant from uh, somebody in the fragrance groups. I was just after this because it was said to be the most delicious, you know, uh, holy grail of vanillas. Now this is a musky type vanilla. Mason Francis Kirkdejean Jean is the perfumer and he just does this some sort of mystifying, you know, magic with his creations. This is no different. There is something in here that is mystifying and it is gorgeous. However, the price point of this fragrance is high. I mean, you're talking about, I want to say it's about $220 or $240 or so for a 50 ml bottle. So that is just yeah that's at the higher end there um you know of the fragrances but it is beautiful so for this fragrance on the channel i do have a couple of reviews uh dupe comparisons because i'm like okay i cannot right now with that price point so i do have the dupe and by andromeda's moon tohoda fell in love did a side by side and yes I mean, this is definitely, you know, the closest to one-to-one -one that I have tried so far. Um, Kaisi's Bonbons à la Vanier also gives a Tohoda air, and it is gorgeous. It is decadent. It's a little heavier, and it has a Peru balsam note. We compared it recently um, to each other, to Tohoda. Oh, and it was good. I love Kaisi's Bonbons à la Vanille. Only comparing them side by side was I able to really see, you know, that Peru balsam jump out at me. Yes, it's musky, but it's a, a little tad bit sweeter and, and more and thicker than the Tohoda. The Tohoda has a beautiful musky, airy quality to it. That's just, mm, it dances all around you. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Tohoda by uh, Andromeda's Moon is the closest I've gotten. And I believe I got this 60 ml bottle. If you use the code um, on the site for less than $40, this one came in at. So I thought that was a great, a great price to hold me over until I can finally have uh, Indult Tohoda join the collection because it needs to, everything that I'm mentioning in this video needs to come into the collection. <laughs> It just needs to. These are on my wish list. All right. So um, another, I believe Dua also has a, a dupe for Indult Tohoda. Coco Pink has one as well that I have not tested. And uh, who else? Uh, I think there's maybe one or two other companies as well. I mean, I will try them because I really did fall in love with this fragrance. So that comes in at number three. There's only two more that I feel um, are a little higher on the, mm, you know, factor. The next one on the list is Mason Mataha's Escapade Gourmand. Gorgeous, decadent fragrance. This one here has some black sugar. It has vanilla, tonka, benzoin, and musk. So you got a little bit of musk grounding the fragrance. The performance was 
excellent. The smell of this is was unique enough for me to say, you know what, this is coming into the collection already because this, I could not find a dupe for it, first of all, but this has this um, just really decadent, syrupy, almost creme brulee, you know, the sugar at the top that's like really crispy as if I've had, I think I've had creme brulee once in my life, if even, <laughs> but I've seen it in movies <laughs> and I've smelled. Anyways, creme brulee. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the sugar, you know, crackly stuff at the top, mm, just so, so good. There is nothing smoky that I can sense in this fragrance. Yeah, there's nothing smoky at all to me. Um, but it reminds me of a combination of, oh, excuse me. It reminds me of uh, this one right here, Vanille West Indies and uh, the Sweet Vanilla. It just it just reminds me of a combo of it. Not full on though, not full on. It is on an, in a league of its own. Oh my gosh, so it lasts a very long time. I do have a full dedicated review, review to this. Um, not everyone has the same experience with this fragrance that I did. I started out with a little, uh, you know, 0 0.7 ml sample, fell in love with it. I kept thinking about it. Um, how I was smelling the fragrance and perceiving the fragrance was different than what it was giving off. The little girl just loved it. She was like, you smell like sweets. I smell sweets. You know, are you eating sweets? And, and she was really far away from me. So this has excellent sillage. You know, you leave a trail. It has great projection and the longevity was great. It had it all for me. And being the only fragrance from the house... I thought, okay, it's time to start this collection. I mean, we're at, we're at the ground floor here, <laughs> you know? Uh, let's say they never create another fragrance. I'd be fine with that because this is delicious, gorgeous, amazing. They knocked it out of the park. They have been working on it for a while, actually. If you want to check out the review for this gorgeous fragrance, um, go ahead and do so. I go into a lot more detail how the wear went, what it smelled like, um, you know, all of that. So yeah, definitely full bottle worthy. It is here in the collection and it came in at number two. Not even this deliciousness could trump what I am about to reveal. <laughs> number one fragrance. Oh, let's not reveal it yet. I wanted to let you know. The House of Genre, Genre Perfumes. They make excellent dupes oh my goodness genre perfumes right here this is a louisiana company you can find them on etsy under louisiana roma and and or you can go to their site to learn about them it is louisianaroma.com and they have beautiful decadent as well fragrances um so many amazing dupes the quality they have some zerge off dupes that are just spot on we have not had a genre of perfumes week and we should definitely venture into that soon um because this is the only fragrance i believe that i've reviewed on the channel from this brand um they're working on or they've already finalized the um fragrance that they're gonna put out their own version of mason mataha's escapade gourmand you guys ah, we're talking these are so affordable they come in 5 mls 10 mls and um what is this 30 mls i can't wait to try it i can't wait to wear test it for you guys uh bring you something that is of the same scent you know but at an affordable um give you an affordable option to it so yay genre thank you so much <laughs> it's coming it's coming and i'll make sure i'll possibly announce it on the community uh, page so that you guys can get a hold of it because they do ordering windows uh genre perfumes does so if you guys want to get in on that and check it out and try it out um i would love for you to get that opportunity for sure so i'll let you know i'll keep you informed um okay last but not least we have our top we have our number one vanilla the one that has just enchanted me i love this fragrance and i'm speaking of vanille west indies by Lene saint barth this fragrance right here this vanilla is everything and 
it's the perfect vanilla for me. This is my own fragrance journey. So this is what I'm saying. This is my holy grail vanilla. And for everybody who has seen this review, who has, uh, you know, jumped out and purchased a decant or sample or even just a full bottle, you know, and taken my word for, for it, I really, really wish you all the best and hope that you are enjoying this fragrance <laughs> as much as I am. Um, you know, uh, judging by a couple of your comments, I can see that you already are. And that makes me so happy to spread this type of happiness. So, so amazing. I absolutely adore this fragrance. What can I say? <laughs> After a couple of weeks of exploration, of wear testing, all of these vanilla fragrances, I keep going back to Vanier West Indies. I keep saying, oh, that has a little Vanier West Indie air. Oh, that one smells like a combination of Vanier West Indies and this. Oh, that way. <laughs> Every single time I catch myself comparing it and just going back, you know, it's just like, just... It's just addicting, enticing, wonderful. This is a beautiful fragrance. I love it. It has saved me countless of times. You know, I carry a little, uh, I made a little decant for myself. I carry it in my purse all the time. Um, it goes everywhere with me. I mean, absolutely everywhere. This is a perfect vanilla. <laughs> this fragrance, much like the Escapade Gourmand, has this alluring quality to it about it it is just the scent bubble that it creates is you i love a fragrance that you get to enjoy as much as the people around you the people around you are just like you smell delicious like you know the people that are comfortable i've talked about this before i do not get compliments often um you know it might just be the location the area all of that um, you know, but my close family and my friends definitely are not shy to let me know when I am wearing this fragrance They're just like, what is that? You smell delicious <laughs> So Vanier West Indies Longevity is eternal Eternal fills up a room. I mean, I, you talk about filling it up without Suffocating it. This just smells delicious. It doesn't smell like too much. It's heavy and light at the same time that orchid oh let me what does it say let me tell you guys what it says really quickly here it says all the grace and warmth of enchanting vanilla with a fine touch of caramel on a subtle background of a sun-kissed orchid yes that is what vanilla west indies is to me as well <laughs> it is so enchanting and light and just beautiful this is a beautiful delicious fragrance um it's it's just it's perfect this is the vanilla for me after trying absolutely everything even you know over um to hoda even and this is my second bottle i was very um giving with my first bottle i wanted everyone to try it i mean everyone i'm like you need you need you want to try two of them here two of them three of them there and uh don't get me wrong i indulged with this fragrance though it saved me countless of times whenever i would run out of fragrance i had this right there with me um whenever i was having a like i cannot handle this scent it was right there <laughs> to save the day so this is it top vanilla for me in my own personal fragrance collection and journey at the moment and um yeah i don't see anything else ever being able to trump this i really don't <laughs> so yes vanilla west indies now affordable options i've been mentioning i've been mentioning oh that smells like vanilla west indies that kind of gives it a little air to vanilla west indies um nothing has come as close as this amazing affordable option here eau de toilette concentration by outremer vanier this right here is vanier's west indies L way lighter but definite definite sister oh yes this smells so so much like vanier west indies this only has in it um 
cotton candy and vanilla. So the Vanilla West Indies gives off a little bit of a cotton candy air, but mostly sugar cookies, you know, like sugared cookies. Beautiful. Um, and I get, like I, I'm saying, uh, my mother says it smells like cotton candy. She also said that about Escapade Gourmand. Uh, that's just how it radiates off of me. And um, that's what this gives. You definitely have to overspray this, but it comes in at $20 a bottle. Compared to, I believe you can get this in the States um, at the retailers for about $175 a bottle. And this one comes in at $20, $20 plus shipping. Oh my gosh. Um, you can also find a 100 ml bottle on the Small Flower website. I think that comes in at $22. So... I mean, that's a no-brainer right there. They also have an oil that you can layer underneath it and, um, you know, it'll last you longer, I'm sure. This one lasts forever on my clothes. I have worn it several times to bed already and it lasts a good five or so hours on my skin. Um, definitely already have a little decant of it in my purse and um, it'll be another staple vanilla in my collection because it reminds me so much of my Vanilla West Indies and it helps me save my sprays. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have just this really interesting story. I'll leave you with this. Vanilla West Indies, this weekend, I am walking. <laughs> I am walking um, in a 5K, I am not running this 5K, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I am rooting my husband on in this 5K and I am walking supporting uh, breast cancer and walking, you know, at this 5K. And this woman kept saying, oh, it smells so good, it smells like food. Um, you know, and she kept mentioning about the food and the food and it smelled okay. So me and my little girl were just like, yeah, it's, you know, we kept agreeing that it smelled like food somewhere. Then we keep walking, we keep walking, and I hear her again. Oh, but it smells so good. What is it? Where is it? Are they making donuts somewhere? You know, is HB making donuts? Is, you know, what restaurant around here smells this good? And she's telling her, her partner that she's walking with, she's like, oh, we have to go to Denny's after this. Like, <laughs> we just have to go to Denny's. I'm just like, man, she's sometimes making her real hungry. So we're walking. And it finally hit me. She's like, she tells her partner, she's like, you know what? It kind of smells like, um, like, like some of those vanillas that, like a vanilla, like a perfume. It might be that, right? And she's looking around. And I'm like, and my little girl looks at me and she's smiling because she knows, she always knows what I'm wearing. And uh, I think she was wearing uh, Britney Spears' private show as well. Um, so that's pretty decadent too. Um, but that one doesn't travel as far as the Vanilla West Indies. So I was like, oh my gosh, I think it's me. Should I tell her? What do I do? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was like, I think it's me that's making, you know, opening up this woman's appetite. I smell like a total snack right now. Okay, so um, I said, I'm going to do it. So I'm, we're walking, we're walking. And I'm like, hi, I'm so sorry. I, I think it's me. Um, you know, I said, you mentioned perfume. And so I put it up to her nose and she's like, oh my God, yes. That's what I've been smelling. <laughs> All my downwind had been going to this poor woman walking this 5K and I'm get, getting her so unbelievably hungry. <laughs> And she's just like, oh my god, it smells so good. And I said, I am so sorry. I just, you know, the weather was nice. I wanted to, I wanted to enjoy this fragrance. And she's like, no, thank you so much. It smells so good. So that is my beloved Vanille West Indies. Everybody loves it. <laughs> Everyone that I've come in contact with, anyways, have always mentioned, like, you smell delicious. Oh, that smells great. So, yeah. Sometimes it all comes down to body chemistry, of course, and your own perception of scent. Um, but, um, yeah, this is a great fragrance. I love it. <laughs> and it's my number one. <sighs> 
that is it you guys thank you so much for tuning in to this review um go ahead and comment down below and enter this giveaway i want to go ahead and share some fragrances with you guys um yeah like give me your top two um and i'll announce the winner in a couple of videos possibly on the community tab or in the comment section of you know the subsequent videos we're going one more video and then we're jumping into a brand new week another house to review another fragrance house to explore thank you guys you got I've been talking forever, but I'm so, super excited. You have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Thanks.